The hospital was initiated quite some time ago. Um, and of course, historically, we managed to build hospitals in all the wrong areas. And we are trying to rectify that these days by putting hospitals where they are needed. The hospital um, was designed with a lot of green principles in mind. The fact that the wards are on the upper floors um, means that the ward areas can gain a lot of sunlight. So the hospital was positioned on a corner facing north with your overnight wards um, facing north so that they get morning sun and afternoon sun. So that uh, you, in the winter time you use less energy for your heating ventilation. Um, and then the windows are all placed with visors which means that in the um, summertime you get um, uh, protection from direct sunlight from above. Everywhere in the hospital we've got solar panels uh, on the roof which contributes to the electricity usage of the hospital. It is believed that uh, your environment does play an important role. You'll see that this hospital is um, situated next to a, a nature reserve area. So you've got a very natural environment around. Um, a, a lot of green, a lot of indigenous plants that um, creates an environment that we feel is, 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 is not boring concrete jungle. It's, a, it's an environment that's going to be conducive to healing. Also the effects of, of having beautiful art, having beautiful colors, bright colors, um, which makes it a place that people would like to come. The community said that they, they don't want to see a boring clinical white hospital. They would like to see something colorful. So we had a consultant who trained local people in the area to do mosaics and it also makes it a very friendly um, place to visit. Wayfinding and signage in the hospital is very important. Um, as it's a big complicated um, technological building, um, it's very important for people to find their way and um, to know where to go when they've got certain things to do. Now the signage in the hospital was designed by our architects. Each area or concept which is being indicated was um, also received a picture. So in other words, for instance, you've got overnight wards, you've got the picture with um, little beds, cafeteria, you've got a picture of a, of a coffee cup. So that um, when somebody uh, visits the hospital who is illiterate, they can also depict from the pictures in which direction or where they need to go. The footprint of the design um, is not that big for a 300 bed district level hospital. We've actually been looking at duplicating this hospital on other sites as well because we, we feel that it's, it creates a nice flow of patients and, and staff and doctors through the hospital. 